Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, as you guys can see, before we actually pulled out uh, the tarot cards, uh, we were shuffling because um, I pre-shuffle before I start recording. And your energy cards were popping out. So, and these are major. So I just want to get to this before we pull out the deck, okay? Now, the first card that came out was the love energy. Uh, second card is surfacing and union. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are currently single, there is love surrounding you. There's prospects or people that are supposed to cross paths with you. Now, you may experience uh, the past couple of weeks, uh, people coming in, perhaps people that you weren't really connecting with, or perhaps uh, you knew about them, but there was really no communication. Uh, and you started to notice that communication started happening. Either they started reaching out or you intuitively picked up on having the need to reach out to them. And what they're showing me here with the love energy, they're showing me um, love surrounding you. Uh, and, and this is not just with love and romance. This can also represent the energy that is currently evoking from you to others. Uh, this could be that recently you found some type of new path, some type of new career, something that you're passionate about and the, you've been wanting to do. And you're taking the steps to get you to that point. And you're going to start to experience the universe echoing back that exact energy. So again, major transformations that are coming for you Taurus out there in regards to love and romance, but also um, in every other aspect of your life. It's like the universe is mirroring back or showing you through signs that there is a bountiful energy of love all around you. This could be uh, people checking up on you, perhaps friends that haven't you know, called you in a while, all of a sudden are checking up on you, making sure that you're doing good. Uh, making sure, you know, wanting to know how you're doing. And it's coming from a very loving place. So again, very happy to see that. Now you also have surfacing here. Now surfacing is a representation to me of energies in regards to love and romance that may start to come up or that you are already experiencing now. What they're telling me here is that for some of you guys, you had this misconception or this idea of what love was what love is, or what you expected from love. For some of you guys, it could have been that you didn't want to have children, and all of a sudden you're starting to think about family. For others of you, it could have been that you were fixated on the fact that you didn't want to marry or have some type of stable marriage. And all of a sudden, a person comes into your life and you're thinking about that, or you're wondering if in fact that's in, you know, in your destiny, if that's something that you're meant to do. So I see a major transformation in regards to love and romance, but it's not just the transformation in regards to people or uh, even if you are currently married, um, a reconnection of that partnership is not just that, but it also represents changing our ideas or our perception of love or how we thought or how we viewed relationships. And all of this is going to start to kind of bubble up. Now, for those of you guys, and they're clearly saying, for those of you guys that have been very adamant about not getting married, you may start to feel like you're wanting that. You may find yourself even imagining how it would be to either get married or to make it official in some shape, way, or form versus how your views were in the past. So again, all of this is kind of bubbling up. And it's coming to surface for you to deal with, perhaps, uh, did you have this conception of you didn't want to get married, as an example, because you had a bad experience growing up. Perhaps your parents were very chaotic. Anything like that is going to start to come up. But it's to re reevaluate. And this is something very important. Throughout life, our lessons in life is about learning. If you're stuck and you're doing the same thing you've been doing for the past five years, then there hasn't been any growth. So all of these things coming to surface, whether you still decide to stick to not having kids or not getting married, et cetera, et cetera, that's fine. But what they're telling you here is acknowledge the fact that there is a need for you to have a different perception or a different um, view from a different stance in regards to these situations. 
Now you also have union card here. So this is what's leading me to believe that for a lot of you guys, I want to say for this year, uh, all the way to December, even January, they're saying for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be crossing paths with people that are have or, or are connected to you that have soul tides. So this could be for those of you guys that have been single and have been single for quite a while, this could be that you actually come and manifest your soulmate. For others of you, this could be that you decide if you've been, you know, dating a person or being living with someone for the past 10 years, it could be that all of a sudden there's a need for uh, something to be become more official, more, more meaningful to you. And there is a, you know, a, a construction of something solid that's coming through, whether it be marriage, whether it's commitment, whatever it may mean. Now, for those of you guys that are single, I am still being told that there is marriage or that there is commitment coming towards you. So again, uh, very beautiful reading. Now I'm going to pull these cards out. I feel that they pretty much said what they needed to say with these cards. Uh, the message was very strongly, which is why I felt like I needed to get to this. But I'm going to be pulling out some cards very quickly uh, just so that we can tap into the messages that are coming through. Yeah. So what they're saying here is, you have the numinous card, which is mystery, but it also speaks about destiny or predestined contracts or connections. You have the energy of Capricorn. So we have Jupiter in Capricorn, uh, the 10th house, 10th house is career and finances, but it also speaks about longevity. It also speaks about, uh, in Saturn also being in Capricorn, anything that we start off or that we start to build off of around this time is something that is going to be long lasting. Now you have the sun card. The sun card is speaking about, uh, you know, blessings that are coming, blessings that are unbeknownst to you or that come to you very unexpectedly. You have complexity and opposition. So to me, what they're showing me here is a mirrored energy, the yin and the yang, uh, your, you know, the energy that is contrast to your energy that together uh, would balance both of you guys ideally. And you have the first house. So the first house is all to do with self. This is self-image. This is how other people view you. But this also represents the sun shining on you. So again, being very magnetic, uh, being able to attract people or pull people towards you. And you're going to be experiencing this, like I said, from now all the way to January is what they're saying in regards to people coming into your life. So again, uh, for those of you guys that have been single, you're not going to be single for very long. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye now.